Hey guys, it's Nisha. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to show you guys how I do my hair on a regular basis. This is how I've been doing my hair pretty much all this year. Um, and I'm going to show you guys. So actually, I was requested to do more hair tutorials after I did my last hair video. How I curl my hair and do like pretty girl curls. This video is by request. Um, I hope that you guys enjoy it. This is how I do my hair. Keep in mind, it's not crazy, crazy, crazy detailed because I felt like it's all pretty much self-explanatory. I'm just showing you guys what I do to my hair um, and I really hope that you guys enjoy if you do make sure that you hit that thumbs up button as well as subscribe if you're new to the channel because I post new videos every week all right you guys enjoy here's my hair tutorial how I do my hair <laughs> So one of you guys asked me to do another hair tutorial on my channel, so I figured today um, I'm going to do my hair, I want to wash my hair, um, even though my hair still looks really good, but I'm just ready to put my extensions back in so my hair can continue to grow. So this is a quick little hair update, this is all my natural hair, I'll take it out this rubber band so you guys can see, but I'm showing you guys this because I know in the beginning of my channel way back when I did do a big chop on my channel, I've actually cut my hair on several occasions occasions during the duration of this channel but um sometimes you guys will ask me like what does my hair look like now and you haven't been able to see it because I've been wearing like wigs and weaves and stuff but this is my hair I am still a heat training natural which is why my hair is uh, straight like this but this is all my hair no extensions or anything and this is how long she is now. Hello, how you doing? <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm I'm gonna wash my hair today. So you're gonna see my hair revert. Um, you're gonna see my natural hair. I'm gonna show you guys how I do a sew-in. If you're wondering how I got it curly, um, I use the foam rollers in my hair you guys know what what foam rollers are because I showed you them in my last hair tutorial. Um, so yeah, this is a really great way to keep the body in your hair. Alright, so here's the skinny. This is how I do my hair right now. So um, I start by taking like a deep conditioner. Actually, wait, no. Pause for the cause. That's not right. Let's start over. <laughs> okay, so this is how I'm currently doing my hair right now. I start by washing my hair. So as you can see, my hair started out in its straight state. Um, I had just flat ironed it maybe a month ago for my birthday. So um, that was all my real hair. Now I'm going to wash the hair so it can revert. So I just rinse my hair first with just plain water nothing added and then after my hair starts to revert just a little bit I will use shampoo in my hair um, on my scalp and on you know my hair and then I will rinse all of that out and then I'll go ahead and mix up a deep conditioner or sometimes if I don't want a deep condition I'll just regular condition but like I said my hair was straight for about a month so I decided it was time for me to do a deep conditioner um, and as well as a protein treatment so what I'm using to deep condition my hair I am using an egg because the egg has protein and it helps to restore. Now, I do use an egg. I also use conditioner. I use deep conditioner. And uh, today I was feeling a little bit spicy. I was feeling a little saucy. So I also put in cayenne powder into my uh, little hair mixture. I've never done it before, but intuitively I just felt like I wanted to do it. So yeah, I added that in. And I also like to add a little bit of hair oil into my hair mask as well. I mix all of that together. I put it in my hair and I leave it in my hair for about an hour up to two hours I really feel like once you hit about two hours or like even once you hit an hour It doesn't really do anything more so you don't have to like leave it on forever There is a limit to how much moisture your hair follicle can retain so yeah Don't feel like you have to leave it on forever Anyway, so after I wash out the deep conditioner out of my hair, um, my hair looks nice and fluffy and curly with the exception of a little stringy piece of hair in the very front because I'm always uh, flat ironing the front of my hair. Uh, so that's that little pieces of hair they don't always revert back but you know this is the price we pay when we heat train right all right so i've just freshly washed my hair you guys saw me put in my deep conditioner i left it in for about an hour and then took it out or rinsed it out so this is what my hair looks like now as you can see my curls are still intact um i'm pretty sure like everywhere in my hair my curls are intact except for the very front of my hair because i constantly have leave out it gets to the bottom it doesn't curl anymore so i just keep it keep it tucked away so what i'm about to do right now is i'm about to um 
let my hair dry and then I'm going to braid or twist my hair up so I can go ahead and sew in these tracks and yeah that's basically it yeah once I finish washing my hair I let it air dry um, just a little bit because I like to braid my hair Excuse me. I like to braid my hair while it's still a little bit uh, moist because I just find that it's easier for me to get through my hair when it's a little bit moist. So I use uh, some Cantu Coconut Curling Cream um, in my hair to braid. So I use this as a leave-in conditioner as I braid my hair. I braid all my hair straight back with the exception of the very front of my hair. I always, um, well not always because sometimes I'll do a closure but Right now, I've been leaving the front of my hair out. Um, it also gives me an opportunity to get to know and work with the front of my hair. Um, you know, I'm not really ready to wear all of my hair out all the time, but um, when I wear the front of my hair out, it does allow me to start to train um, and master my hair. So yeah, okay, so what did I do? I have braided my hair straight back down. And then I sewed the braids in between each other or sewed the braids flat to my head. I put on a black stocking cap and then I basically did a sew-in on my hair. I braided uh, some, some wefts into the back of my hair. I probably used about two and a half bundles of hair. Um, so it's not even as full or as thick as it could be. But I just kind of wanted that, that natural pretty girl Tia and Tamara, you know, freshly pressed hair vibes, right? So um, yeah, I sewed in all the hair. Um, um, as you guys can see, like I said, this is not a sew-in tutorial, um, but if you do want to see how to do a sew-in, YouTube is our friend. Okay, so yeah, after I finished sewing in all the wefts of hair in my head, I begin to flat iron the front of my hair. I begin to flat iron my natural hair, my real hair. Um, at this point too, you can also go ahead and flat iron your hair extensions or flat iron your sew-in. Um, once everything is nice and flat and beautiful, I go ahead and I wanted to add some curls into my hair because I just, I like how my hair looks when it has like some body to it, some curls. So um, I went ahead and took my um, curling wand and I started to make some curls in my hair. Again, if you want to see me do how I curl my hair like in its entirety, I do have a hair tutorial about that. You can check it out up here or in the comments down below. Um, or in the description down below. But yes, I do show you guys how I get this exact hairstyle. So after I finish curling my hair, I put my rollers in and I go to sleep on the hair and then I wake up the next day and I take my rollers out, I shake my hair and I have perfect pretty girl hair and it all kind of looks, you know, like my own hair. So yeah, that is how I do my hair and I really hope that you guys enjoyed this tutorial. This is what it's looking like right now. Um, from this uh, sew-in set. So as you can see, like, as the day goes on, my hair just kind of continues to fall. But this is what my hair is looking like. <laughs> I probably will do my hair uh, once a month, maybe once every two months. It really just depends on um, how my scalp is feeling and how my natural hair is feeling on the outside. Um, sometimes after a month, I will go ahead and wash the front of my hair. Um, you can wash all of the hair, but I'm just saying like the rest of my hair is still braided up underneath the sew-in. But I will sometimes wash my hair while it's in the sew-in and then just re-flat iron it. So um, yeah, that's basically everything. That is how I do my hair. All right, you guys, that is the end of my video. Thank you so much for watching today. I hope that you learned how I do my hair and maybe you can incorporate some of the tips or anything that you learned in this video. Again, it wasn't really a hair tutorial, but you guys asked me to make more hair videos and this is just how I'm doing my hair right now. So yeah, if you wanna see how I get this exact hairstyle, how I curl and style my hair, it is through using foam rollers and I actually have a tutorial on how I get pretty girl hair just like this so if you're interested in that video that will be up in the cards right here so um yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video again i love you so much thanks for hanging out with me today and i will see you in my next one bye